Hello everyone, this is Andrew from Crown Academy of English. Today we're doing an English vocabulary lesson and the subject is expressions about money. So, in this lesson you will learn eight English expressions related to money. So let's start. So the expression is on the house and this means, well, if something is on the house, it means that it is free. So it's a gift. You don't have to pay for it. And we often hear this expression in bars, restaurants and shops. Let me give you an example. So the barman says, here is your coffee. And Mark replies, how much is it? And the barman, the barman says, it's on the house. It's on the house. So this means it is a gift. It's free. It is the bar that is paying for the coffee. Okay? It's free. Another example. In a shop this time. So the shop manager says, if you buy this computer, we will give you a printer on the house. Okay? We will give you a free printer. To go Dutch. This is a very interesting expression, very unusual. To go Dutch. But it's very common, very common situation. So, if two people go Dutch, it means that each person pays for what they eat and drink. So we use this expression um, when we're eating in a restaurant or perhaps drinking in a bar and we're not sure who is going to pay the bill okay so when you when you go dutch it means that um, each person pays so go dutch means that people share the cost of the food and drinks okay it's not just one person paying so here is an example jane and claire are drinking coffee in a coffee shop the waiter brings the bill, so it's time to pay. And Jane proposes, shall we go Dutch? Shall we go Dutch? So here, this question means Jane is proposing, is saying, shall we each pay for our own coffee? And Claire says, yes, that's fine. So this means that Jane pays three pounds for her coffee and Claire also pays three pounds for her coffee. Okay, we can say that Jane and Claire went Dutch. They went Dutch, which is the past simple of go. Okay, to be tight. So a tight person does not like spending money. A tight person rarely pays for anything. And a tight person is not generous with money. Example. Jane asks, what did David get you for your birthday? And Claire says, nothing. He's really tight. So this means um, David is not generous. Mark never buys anyone a drink in the pub. He's very tight. Okay. To be well off. To be well off. Notice when we write it, there's a little hyphen here. And it means to be rich or to have a lot of money. Okay. John has a good job and he's very well off. He's very well off. Okay. So he's very rich. Another expression, to be loaded. And this also means to be rich and also means to have a lot of money. This expression is more informal. Okay, well, well off is, is formal. It's a proper good expression. To be loaded, it is much more informal. Okay, casual. So you say this amongst friends. So Mark asks, is that your Ferrari? And David says, no, it's Claire's. She's loaded. She's loaded. 
So this means she is very rich. To be made of money. So if someone is made of money, it also means that they are very rich. And it also means, again, to have a lot of money. Mark asks, where is John? And David replies, he's gone on holiday. Again, that's his third trip this year. I know, he's made of money. He's made of money. So someone who is made of money is very rich. To be skint. Now this is the opposite. This means to be poor and to not have a lot of money. Skint is informal English. It's slang. John asks, do you want to go to the cinema later? And David replies, I'm sorry, I can't. I'm skint. Okay. And finally, to be broke. And this is a, a, this is a, a more formal. This is more formal. And again, it means to be poor, to not have a lot of money. Sarah asks, why is Claire always broke? And Jane replies, well, she doesn't have a job. So here we can see the expression in the question. Why is Claire always broke? So this means, why is Claire always poor? Why does Claire never have any money? Okay, because she doesn't have a job. Okay, so there we are. That's the end. Hope you learn some new expressions. If you're preparing for the IELTS exam, then click here for information about our course. And here are some other videos that I recommend you watch.